Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into some exciting news from the Fedora project that will interest both Linux enthusiasts and Windows users alike. Fedora 42 on Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL is almost here. And guess what? You can help test it out starting today. In this video, I will explain what Fedora 42 on WSL means for you, walk you through how to install the pre-release image and discuss why your feedback is so valuable as the Fedora team refines this new offering. So let's get started. Background and what's new For those who might be new to it, Fedora is a cutting-edge Linux distribution known for its commitment to innovation, open source principles and a rapid release cycle. The Fedora project continuously pushes the envelope and with Fedora 42, they are taking a significant step forward by bringing an official image to the Windows subsystem for Linux. WSL allows you to run Linux distributions side by side with Windows, which means you don't have to dual boot or set up a virtual machine. Instead, you can leverage the best of both worlds right on your desktop. With Fedora's pre-release for WSL, developers and tech enthusiasts have a unique chance to experience the latest Fedora features on Windows, even before the official release. This early access means you get the test new functionalities, report issues and even suggest improvements, directly influencing the final version of Fedora 42. The Test Day Event the Fedora team has set aside a dedicated test day for this pre-release build, which happened on February 17th. On that day, the Fedora community invites anyone interested to download the Fedora 42 image for WSL and give it a spin. There are images available for both x86-64 and ARM64 architectures. So whether you are using a standard Intel or AMD machine or a more modern ARM-based device, like those running on Snapdragon processors, you are covered. Now, why is the test day so important? Early testing helps the Fedora developers gather crucial feedback on performance, compatibility and usability. As it for the first time Fedora is rolling out an official WSL image. Your input will directly contribute to refining the experience for everyone when the final version is released. Plus. If you run into any issues or have suggestions, you can connect with the Fedora team on their Matrix server, where experts are available to answer questions and engage with testers. Installation walkthrough Let's move on the practical side. How do you actually install Fedora 42 on WSL? Since this is a pre-release, you will need to perform a manual installation. Here is a step-by-step -step guide. First download the image. Start by visiting the Fedora test day page to download the pre-release tarball. Make sure you choose the correct file for your system architecture, either x86-64 or ARM64. Second, open your terminal. Once the file is downloaded, open your favorite terminal. Many of you might use Windows terminal, but you can also use PowerShell if that's your preference. Third, navigate to the download folder. To simplify the process, right click on the folder where you saved the toggle and select open in terminal. This will open the terminal window directly in the right location, so you won't have to type the full path. Number 4. Run the installation command. Now simply enter the following command which I provided in the description. Replace file name with the actual name of the downloaded toggle. This command tells WSL to install Fedora from the specified file. Number 5. Follow on screen instructions. The installation process is straightforward and you should see prompts guiding you through the rest of the setup. Since this is a pre-release version, don't be surprised if there are few quirks or area that need further tweaking. Remember the installation is manual because it's still in the testing phase. However, the process has been streamlined as much as possible so that anyone from seasoned Linux users to beginners can take part without too much hassle. What to expect and how to contribute After installing Fedora 42 on WSL, you will have the opportunity to explore Fedora's latest feature and see how they perform under WSL environment. 
while the pre-release build is a chance to get an early look. It's important to keep in mind that you might encounter minor bugs or unexpected behavior. This is perfectly normal in a test build and helps the Fedora team improve the overall experience. Your feedback is a key during this phase. Whether you are noting performance issues, compatibility glitches or even just general impressions. Every piece of information counts. The Fedora developers are actively monitoring feedback via their metric server. So don't hesitate to jump in and share your thoughts. Your input might even influence decisions in the final release of Fedora 42. Now why Fedora 42 on WSL matters? Now you might be wondering why running Fedora on WSL is such a big deal. For one, it significantly lowers the barrier for Windows users to experience Fedora's robust Linux environment without having a commit to a full dual boot setup or a virtual machine. This is particularly attractive for developers who work on both Windows and Linux, allowing them to test and run applications seamless in both environments. Furthermore, Fedora has a reputation for adapting the latest and greatest in open source technology. By bringing Fedora to WSL, the Fedora project is reinforcing its commitment to making cutting-edge software more accessible. This move not only broadens Fedora's user base but also fosters a more integrated community where developers and enthusiasts from different operating systems can collaborate and innovate together. Now finally, conclusion. To sum up, the Fedora 42 pre-release on WSL is an exciting opportunity to get your hands on the future of Fedora before its official launches. With a dedicated test day on February 17th, clear installation steps and an open channel for feedback via the Fedora Matrix server. Now is the perfect time to dive in and be a part of this development journey. If you already tried it, share your experience in the comments below. And if you haven't, I highly encourage you to download the image, test it out and help shape the future of Fedora on Windows. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates on Fedora and other tech news. Thanks for watching and happy testing. Peace out.